Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're still here in Niflheim, where the sky is always green brown, the scenery is ugly as sin, the plants all look like poison ivy, and even the clean air smells like the inside of a wooden leg. <laughs> Ah, uh, you know, I find myself compelled to keep throwing myself at this mist maze, because... Honestly, I have no idea why. It's a roguelike section of, uh, an optional roguelike section of the full game. I'm just saying, I feel this desire to get in there and steal all the mist echoes until I can build myself a whole set of this gnarly green armor. With, you know clouds of toxic gas moving about inside of it. That's kind of cool. I guess you can see his breath. I guess that's cold. But it does seem very repetitive, so I guess I'll just leave. Do some of that off-camera. On the other hand, we are on the wrong side right now. So I might as well give it a shot. That wasn't bad. I was actually pretty impressed by that dog. Not that one, though. Weirdly enough, he did enjoy that. Although that's a long story, and I kind of don't want to go into it. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't realize that was blue, uh, red until the last second. Stop, drop, and roll. Who gets blended? It's you! God, I'll never get tired of that. There's also something to be said for maintaining a juggle combo by bouncing the guy against the frickin' ground. Watch it turn out that these haven't degraded in the mist or anything. Evaldi just looked terrifying. Oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to figure out why I couldn't open this thing. I didn't even realize there was still a dude left. Ah, yes, I did note. I did realize very recently, in fact. Gazuntite! That the, uh, the, the bar goes up every time you open a chest. Okay, I'll be honest, there was a failed attempt at doing an intro where I discovered it there just today, but still! Oh, right, there wasn't a chest over here this time. This maze is confusing, man. You don't get a lot out of that. Although I suppose I would probably get more if I had more green armor. Uh, let's go with the blady ones, those are easier to deal with than the other ones. Excuse me. Pardon me. Nothing. One thing I don't like about this game is that if you like do a little drop like right here, if I sprint from here to here, he stops sprinting and he touches the ground and I have to start sprinting again. Come on. Both. Awesome. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh shit. Not witches. It's witches! Screw this. We are going. Uh, no. Mother. Not gonna lie, thought about cutting that part out. Wasn't proud of that. You know what will help? Shout out to Darthinianable, who I uh, have been hearing from for quite a long time now. Who uh, left a comment saying, Hey there, BDF. Just thought I'd chime in and say that I've always enjoyed how invested you become in the stories you play. Whether it's, you, it's your wonder at realizing it's the horseman's horse, your conflicted choice to spare Dowd, or even your panicked reverie at the sight of the blades of chaos. Your passion always brings a smile to my face. BTW, you might want to check the resources tab under Chaos Flame at some point, so that's very interesting to me. Uh, no, that would be resources. 
Oh, Raging Inferno of Muspelheim. Where in the world did I need to spend that? Huh. Well, I guess I could only check that at a store, huh? Well, that is a very interesting thing to point at. Extra quote, according to Darth Well, Who's Destiny's Child now? I don't understand, but I enjoy that all the same. All right. All right, you stupid maze. Might as well get some treasure out of the first room, even if I keep dying in the next ones. Oh, good. It's the Dokulfar. Oh. Yes? I don't know, but... Oh! Right in the face. Oh, I... Hmm. He didn't enjoy that as much as I did, to be sure. Combo follow up. Okay, there's usually an antechamber I can at least get to, because there's very little treasure out here this time. If I get just out there, I should be able to just walk out here without immediately triggering bad guys. Oh no. World? Rune chest. God damn it, I keep seeing blue glows, but it's. Oh. Oh. Let's not think about how terrifying that is! Oh, my organs. I just realized, oh shit, that's gonna be the room full of, mon of tougher monsters. You are standing in a maze, my boy. Context. It's king. Uh, no, opposite direction. Yes, good. Funny, I look up at that symbol that represents Niflheim, and I first thought, I immediately thought to myself of, uh, Homestar Runner reference. The S is for sucks. Seriously, be careful with those realm tears. The game never warned me about realm tears before. There must be something awful about those ones. Hey, these are the same braziers as from Midgard. They're just not painted as Valkyrie names or on fire. I would wager these ones haven't been on fire in a very, very long time. I guess there's just a lot of plants in there because it gathers... I was going to say gathers water. Does it ever rain here? Or is it just, you know, smog? Oh, what brings you around, friends? I have no idea, frankly. Let me look around. What do you even use this stuff? gonna use that crazy fire stuff. Uh, I didn't think so, just checking. That seems like a very potent thing to have. I'm just not sure where it goes. My son, we are at the store right now. I really think there's something wrong with your idle lines in this place. Yes. 
Did I die in there? No, I did not. It's in this place, especially, stuff seems to blur or, together. Never mind then. Or wait, actually. Let's get to it. Uh. Do I have that? No. Right, Niflheim alloy. Okay, and a lot more mist echoes. Sometimes the best purchase is the one we don't. I do enjoy his positivity. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised you've never heard Brock go fuck you too then when you do that. But I suppose... Oh, I like that. Yeah, that only happens when you walk into the mist. You know, the fire attacks make it so much worse, because when it's burning Draugr in the mist, the entire you? area smells like nah. bacon fried in piss or something. It's all very complicated. Yeah, I'm just surprised you've never heard Brock tell us off, although I suppose he wouldn't have lasted in the business this long if he didn't have some customer support skills. I would say that those realm tears probably contain variations on bosses we have already fought. You know, not like important named people, but like just big monsters and such. And I'm not talking like a Razzlayer or hmm. anything, I mean like the now Elder's Trolls. Alright, let me see. I've been meaning to head back to Alfheim. Mind me, brain. Which one was it? It was the one. Well, it would be the one with the light crystal in front of it, wouldn't it? Yeah, that looks about right. Well done, me. I throw my memory back to those uh, early, early days. I don't want to leave him on the other side. I have no idea what would even happen. Oh, I see the toadstools, and I do find it funny that this is the healthiest this place has looked since I got here. Yeah, I seem to remember finding a, a, a sealed vault in one of Odin's hidden rooms somewhere in Alfheim. I mean, maybe I'm out to lunch, but just a quick check of the map should be able to tell that. Where is Niflheim on this? Interesting. It always seems to be on a... Oh, of course, it's on the spot facing the door. Since the tree is always in the same place, that's why it's aligned uh, differently for every uh, dimension. I thought my memory was just bad. I like how even here we can't get a good look at the face on the tear statue. Nice shield, though. Maybe this way we, uh... get to find out more of what's happening in Alfheim. I guess the mushroom is always... That feels like. You know, like on Stargate, they, uh. Speaking of Christopher Judge, they have, uh. This recurring theme where the first time someone goes through the gate, they suggest that it's, a uh, very. 
intense sensation. As if some part of you is aware that you were technically just traveling at, like, here. warp 17 in order to reach a planet in that lim uh, small amount of time. I like when the camera pulls in close behind Kratos to make it uh, more dramatic when he opens doors. Well, let's see if I was right. I missed a raven, I can see that. Oh, look at that. What's that? Oh, right. Oh, that is interesting. Their tower is to seem to be built out here on the coastline. Like this, this looks like the ocean. I never did find any other portals here, so we're gonna have to walk. Yeah, I don't recognize any of these sounds. You know, like the, the I've been talking about the loon back on Midgard. Yeah, I don't know these. It sounds like a freaking jungle. Ready yourself, boy! I suppose you'd come to surrender this time? I mean, that'd be really convenient. Off you go. Just had a thought I didn't enjoy having, as I was obliquely re referring to earlier. The uh, it is said that uh, burning or indeed cooking. Well, it's just a frog. It's a regular ass frog. It's not a weird supernatural elf animal. Whatever. Yeah, human flesh uh, burning apparently smells like cooking pork, which is what led to. Uh, the uh, references to cannibalism as being on the meat of long pig. But, um... I bring this up because... The thought I just had was... What do you think a burning elf smells like? Hey, Sindri! really like the pillars that uh, they have in those uh, things. The idea of just being, oh, when the light touches them, they make art. The light needs to be projected up into the sky to reach. I wonder if this region really smells nice. Other than when, you know, people are on fire, I mean. A lot of flowers. I mean, all this plant life could just mean it smells like, you know, rotting grass. La, 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 la. For a second, as I was telling me to get back on the elevator with the, uh, the sand bowl. Oh, I do remember that one. That one was water. I remember that because I was very proud of the terrible, terrible joke, The Shape of Water. That they used as an episode title. See how tough the enemies have gotten since the last time we were here. Be ready! Level 6. Aren't you a big boy? I actually like this guy's design. I'll 
dark and evil with glowing purple eyes. That's not uh, common. Ow. How dare you? Damn it, I didn't interrupt that time. Oh, right, you can't send those guys airborne. If you can't knock him down by doing that. But you can do that. What a mess. Thank you. Certainly felt better about that than the fights we had in uh, Niflheim. It'd be nice to be able to breathe, too. Do I still have, let's see, 156. One hundred and fifty-seven. Okay, technically I do have health regeneration, though I imagine the effect would be great if, once again, I had more of that. Uh, oh. Ah, oh, good times. This is where I uh, did a realm tear. Well, I guess the thing is in the other direction, but the timer has gone. So on this considerably more scenic uh, area than I was in when I started the episode. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play God of War. When we uh, go introduce ourselves to the only Valkyrie who lives in Alfheim, and uh, see what new and exciting ways she has of creasing our can. <laughs> Wish me luck. Later!